Welcome to Class 10 Geography Chapter 1 Past Paper Analysis. Here you will get all the important questions which came in the previous year exams. It will help you to prepare systematically for the board exams. Chapter 1 Important Questions Question number 1 What does toy mean by resources or what is meant by resources? Everything available in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs is called a resource. It should be technologically accessible, economically feasible and culturally acceptable. Only then it can be termed as a resource. Examples are minerals, forests, fossil fuels etc. Question number 2. Why the Rio de Janeiro summit held? In June 1992, more than 100 heads of states met in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil for the first international earth summit. The summit was convened for addressing urgent problems of environmental protection and socio-economic development at the global level. The assembled leaders signed the Declaration on Global Climatic Change and Biological Diversity. The Rio Convention endorsed the global forest principles and adopted Agenda 21 for achieving sustainable development in the 21st century. Question number 3. Resources are a function of human activities. Justify this statement. Mere presence of resources as free gifts of nature does not make them resources. Human beings are essential components of resources because they transform material available in our environment into resources. The utility of resources depends on the stage of cultural development of man and the tools and technology used by him. Question number 4. Write the classification of resources on four different bases. Resources can be classified in the following four ways on the basis of origin, biotic and abiotic, on the basis of exhaustibility, renewable, non-renewable, on the basis of ownership, individual, community, national and international. On the basis of status and development, potential, developed, reserve and stock. Question number 5. Classify the resources on the basis of exhaustibility and give two examples of each. On the basis of exhaustibility, resources can be classified as renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources, the resources which can be renewed or reproduced by physical, chemical and mechanical processes are known as renewable or replenishable resources. Example, water, wildlife, forest, solar energy, wind energy, etc. Non-renewable resources. The resources which once get exhausted cannot be remade. They take a long geological period of time, that is millions of years in their formation. Examples, minerals, fossil fuels, etc. Question number five. Write two characteristics of non-renewable resources and write their two broad categories with examples. Two characteristics of non-renewable resources. They cannot be recycled and get exhausted with their use. They take millions of years in their formation. Two broad categories of non-renewable resources. Recyclable resources, example metals, Non-recyclable resources, example fossil fuels. Next question. 
Name the categories under which natural resources can be grouped on the basis of state of development. Potential resources, developed resources, stock, reserves. Next question. What was the Agenda 21? What were its main purposes? It is the declaration signed by world leaders in 1992 at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, which took place at Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. It aims at achieving global sustainable development. It is an agenda to combat environmental damage, poverty, disease through global cooperation on common interest mutual needs and shared responsibilities. One major objective of the Agenda 21 is that every local government should draw its own local Agenda 21. Question number 7. Explain three stages of resource planning. Three stages of resource planning. Identification and inventory of resources across the regions of the country. This involves surveying, mapping and the qualitative and quantitative estimation and measurement of the resources. Evolving a planning structure endowed with appropriate technology, skill and institutional setup for implementing resource development. Matching the resource development plans with overall national development. Next question. Planning is the widely accepted strategy for judicious use of resources in a country like India. Justify this statement with two relevant points and an example. India has enormous diversity in the availability of resources through planning, regions which have shortage of vital resources and those having adequate quantitative receive equal attention. There are regions which are rich in certain types of resources but are deficient in some other resources. For example, Arunachal Pradesh has abundance of water but lacks in an infrastructural development. There are some regions which can be considered self-sufficient in terms of availability of resources. For example, the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits. There are some regions which have acute shortage of some vital resources. For example, the state of Rajasthan is well endowed with solar and wind energy but lacks in water resources. Next question. Write four factors which determine resource development in a region. Four factors involved in the development of resources are availability of resources, level of technology, quality of human resources, Historical experiences of the people. Next question. Explain the concept of resource conservation as voiced by Gandhiji. Or, whom did Gandhiji make responsible for the depletion of resources at the global level? The answer is, Gandhiji voiced his concern about resource conservation in these words. There is enough for everybody's need and not for anybody's greed. He placed the greedy and selfish individuals as the root cause for resource depletion at the global level. He was against mass production and wanted to replace it with production by the masses. Indiscriminate use of resources by human beings has led to the depletion of resources for satisfying the greed of few individuals. Irrational consumption and overutilization of resources leads to socio-economic and environmental problems. Next question. Write four institutional efforts made at global level for resource conservation. At the international level, the Club of Rome advocated resource conservation for the first time in a more systematic way in 1968. In 1974, the Gandhian philosophy was presented once again by Schumacher in his book, Small is Beautiful. 
Broadhead Land Commission report in 1987 introduced the concept of sustainable development and advocated it as a means for resource conservation. This was subsequently published in a book entitled Our Common Future. In June 1992, the first International Earth Summit was held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil in which 100 heads of states met for addressing urgent problems of environmental protection and socio-economic development at the global level. Next question. The future generation may not have sufficient resources as compared to the present generation. Justify the statement by giving suitable examples. Or, why is the issue of sustainability relevant for development? Present sources of energy in India are coal, petroleum, natural gas, solar energy, wind energy, hydel power, electricity, wood for fire, cow dung, etc. Most of these are non-renewable resources or sources of energy which may get exhausted after some time. These are available in limited quantities. The present rate of consumption is higher than the rate at which these resources are being replenished and should be preserved for our future generations. In 50 years time, India may depend largely on non-conventional sources of energy which are available in abundance such as solar energy, hydel energy, wind energy, etc. The total hydel power potential in India is estimated at 1,50,000 megawatt of which only one sixth has been developed so far. Development of a country needs to be continuous. Every country would like to have the level of development go up further. Many scientists have warned that the present levels of development cannot be sustained for the future as the present rate of consumption of both renewable and non-renewable resources is very high. Rapid industrialization has led to environment degradation. Sustainability development aims at development without damaging the environment and at the same time conserving for the future. Sustainability of development is essential not only for the present generation but also for future generations to ensure a good life. Next question, why is it necessary to preserve the resources? The availability of resources is a necessary condition for the development of any region but mere availability of resources in the absence of corresponding changes in technology and institutions may hinder development. There are many regions in our country that are rich in resources but these are included in economically backward regions. On the contrary, there are some regions which have a poor resource base but they are economically developed. Next question, resource planning is necessary. Why? Give examples for its explanation. Or, why is resource planning necessary? Give reasons. Planning is necessary for proper and judicious ju utilization of resources. Reasons for resource planning. Resource availability is not the same in all parts of the country. Resources, especially non-renewable resources, need extra care as they cannot be renewed. There is acute shortage of defi or deficiency of some resources. Resource planning helps in proper utilization of resources by reducing wastage. It takes care of future needs and may sustain the environment. Next question. India has enormous diversity in the availability of resources. Name four varied regions to justify this statement. There are regions which are rich or self-sufficient in certain types of resources and there are areas that are deficient or have acute shortage of some vital resources. For example, the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits. Arunachal Pradesh has abundance of water resources but lacks in infrastructural development. Rajasthan is very well endowed with solar and wind energy but lacks in water resources. The coal desert area of Ladakh has very rich cultural heritage. It is deficient in water, infrastructure and some vital minerals. Such cases call for balanced resource planning at different levels. Next question, what do you mean by sustainable development? 
sustainable development or sustainable economic development means development should take place without damaging the environment and development in the present should not compromise with the needs of the future generations next question why is it important to equal distribution of resources an equitable distribution of resources has become essential for a sustained quality of life and global peace if the present trend of resource depletion by a few individuals and countries continues the future of our planet is in danger therefore resource planning is essential for sustainable existence of all forms of life sustainable existence is a component of sustainable development hope these questions with answers will help the students to prepare for the board exams stay tuned for more updates thank you thank you for watching